In this video, I will show you how to create a responsive table with CSS. Looking at the code editor, I've included a font from Google Fonts. I've also added some basic styling like font size and font family. To start, inside the body, let's add a table tag. Inside the table we will add the table head and table body. Let's add the table head first. Inside the T head, let's add a TR to add the table row. Next, add TH that will hold the title texts. I have my Google Sheet open with the table data, so I will copy the texts from here. Add three TH tags for the three titles. Next, let's create the table body. This will hold our rows of data. Inside T body, add a row. Each row will have three TDs to match the table heading. Next important step, let's add an attribute called data title in the TD tag. Each will have a value that corresponds to the title. The first one should have a value of year, second is champion, and runner up for the third one. We will use this attribute as a label for our responsive table view. A row is a one record. We will add about five records, so that would be five rows. I'm going to copy this row and update the texts from our Google Sheet. Now, let's add the CSS. Set border collapse as collapse. Add zero margin and width to 100%. Let's add some dark shadow. For the table head, add a background color. Change the text color and adjust the font size. Let's change the background color of the table body rows that are in even order. Change the font size and add a padding to the table data and heading.
Let's try to adjust and check the responsiveness of our table. As you can see, the table overflows on the screen. Let's add media query to responsive. Depending on how many columns your table will have, your media query breakpoint may be different. Always check your browser to test if the table will not look good on the specific viewport. For this table, I will use 440 pixels as the breakpoint since the table is beginning to get narrower at this viewport. Beginning on this viewport, let's add a border to the table. Hide the table head row. Add display block to rows. Adjust the padding. Set the TD alignment to right. Target the pseudo element before for all the TD elements. For the content, use the data title attribute as the value. I added a colon after it. Then align it to the left. Finally, let's change the even elements background color and text color. 